Uh, my name is Lance Kinsey. I wrote and directed uh, All Stars. And I'm James Portolese. I produced All Stars. And uh, it's really, it, it's kind of my story. Um, uh, I, I started coaching my daughter in fast pitch softball when she was about five. And this is the story of a 10 and under girls fast pitch softball team that goes through a regular season and the um, ambitious parents that accompany them through that season. <laughs> through our journey through the rec league and then travel ball, we had met all these characters that are in the movie, all the parents, the coaches, the umpires, the board members. My wife was on the board um, of our rec league and she would come home after a board meeting and just say, you, you can't believe we've spent six hours talking about socks. <laughs> and it, I would hear these stories and go, well, this is, this is too good. This is, uh, I mean, the reality of the situation was just so ludicrous and fun and funny. Not ludicrous because, I mean, everyone, they take it seriously because it is serious to them. And it was to us. But I always thought this, this would be very recognizable to a large group of people. People always say uh, comedy, is, you just take reality and then exaggerate it. There's not a whole lot of exaggeration in this. As a matter of fact, we might have toned a few things down. And even the real parents of the girls who were there watching their kids be in the movie would bring, like, I'd go in the trailer and there'd be all these cookies and treats. I'm like, what's this? Like, oh, that's from Becky's mom. She wants more screen time. And, you know, Becky's horrible, but, the, like, the real parents of these girls were imitating the movie, so it was incredible. And that's the thing about this film. This is not just about softball. This is about all youth sports, about all youth activities. It could be dance, it could be gymnastics, it could be, you know, anything. Any, Soccer, lacrosse. Of yeah. course. And, but, but you know, uh, per your question, yes, it could, be, it could be art class. And the one mom's going, well, my kid is it's Picasso. This is so good, and the kid is, you know, <laughs> falling on the canvas, and she's she's framing it. But they get so excited and so invested in their their child's, uh, well, or their ambition for their child that you know it's it's kind of it's it's blinders really. Yeah. When I was writing All Stars, I always uh, wanted to direct it. And it's, you know, a world I really understood. And one of the advantages uh, about directing something you write is that as you write it, you're, you're, you're thinking about how you'd like to shoot it. And, you know, we had many discussions. Uh, you know, we had a tight schedule, of course, and like most independent films, a tight budget. And so there's a lot of planning uh, involved. And the more you can plan, um, the more successful you'll be on any given day. Um, and so I knew I wanted to shoot with uh, kind of in a reality documentary style with multiple cameras. And then it was really about, uh, and James was fantastic helping me find the right team to do that. Everybody had to come into this project with the same spirit and the same goals to accomplish this because well, how many setups did we have? I mean, there were days we had like 157, 160 setups. So on an eight-hour day because we had little girls so you couldn't shoot a 12-hour film day so but we had we had people in pre-production who would tell us you, you can't do it this movie is the script is 300 pages long because it was you know it wasn't but it wasn't but reading what we were going to try to do they're like this is a 300 page script and I would have been very nervous as a producer if it wasn't Lance's story if it was been about you know deep sea fishing we would have been in trouble but I knew he knew the world so I was comfortable doing it with him so I knew we could get it done. 